Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. Chuck Longenecker. I have a company called Digital Telepathy. We're a user experience design company, and we work primarily with startups and thought leaders building out user um, acquisition strategies, web application design, and mobile design. Design is uh, one of the last things that actually differentiates uh, a company, especially an online business. Um, so a good design is pleasing to use. It actually creates affinity towards a brand. But also design is the thing that you interact with on a website. And so, uh, so often um, users have about five seconds to either decide to stay on a page or leave, and the design is what draws them in. Design is what makes things easy to engage with and, and pleasing and addictive. Um, and lastly, design is really the only thing you experience uh, aside from perhaps content when you're on a website. So I'd say um, some of the biggest mistakes are uh, over-designing. I think uh, a lot of people will be overly excited about a design. They use too many colors. They use too many different types of fonts. They'll put too much content on the page itself. They just want to say everything at once. Um, and they're not being simple enough. They're not getting the simple story across. Um, another thing too, uh, which is related to design, is not doing your content correctly, not spending time to talk about a story. And we really just design stories. We don't just put up pictures. We're not making art, right? So we're actually creating um, a design that actually tells a story. And if we don't have a story to tell, the design suffers. I can, because we're actually working on it. Um, I believe that websites are actually rooted in an old analog technology. If you think about it, a website is based off a book. We have pages. We have table, table of contents of which we click on, and it takes us to another page. Uh, and we don't have an immersive experience. And if you look at mobile apps and you look at desktop apps, they've already far surpassed what websites do. But browser technology is ready now to actually be able to process this immersive experience. And uh, so I believe that pages uh, and a lot of sites will be going away. We're already seeing that with longer scroll sites. Uh, we're starting to use what we call the z-axis. So we're going in, uh, forward, and backwards in sites. Um, we're hiding content when it doesn't need to be seen. And when you click on it, you see the content itself without flowing in to a different page and breaking your experience. So I think uh, we're going to see a lot more of that. We're going to see sites that aren't just responsive, meaning that they uh, take their desktop site and they actually reduce it for a mobile site. We're going to see them actually change the features and functionality when it's on a mobile phone. So instead of clicking, you're swiping. So I think we're going to see a nice um, uh, improvement and movement towards a bit of mobile apps with um, the way that we are interacting with either a mouse, with gestures, or with touch. Uh, I love design uh, for a lot of reasons, but you know, I, th I, I think the aesthetic is something that's unexplainable when you have a great aesthetic. Um, it's amazing to just like something and not know why you like it, uh, and I think design drives that. Uh, I like the idea of design because I think it, it can transcend designers. I've, I'm a terrible designer. Um, I claim to just have good taste. but. Uh, I like to think of everybody as a bit of a designer because we design is just choosing how something works. And I think that we do that every day, whether we're deciding what to wear in the morning or we're actually um, building and creating something. There's a piece of design in everything. 